And that breaking news, a shootout in the street. At least three teenagers have been shot. Witnesses at 40th and Garfield tell us they heard dozens of gunshots and that it went on for about 10 minutes. We have Jermont Terry there with the latest on the scene. Jermont, what can you tell us? Stephen Courtney, some tense moments this afternoon. Witnesses say they heard continuous gunfire for about five to ten minutes. And when the gunfire ended, three teenagers were shot. Emergency crews rushed those teens to, teens to Frederick Hospital. Now, if you take a look over my shoulder, you can see that police have Garfield roped off for several blocks as they try to piece this one together. It was just afternoon when police filled this north side neighborhood. They responded with the armored tactical, tactical truck after receiving several 911 calls about the gunfire. Right now, police are looking for at least two gunmen who opened fire at the intersection of 40th and Garfield. Witnesses tell me several people were outside at the time. Police started, uh, people started to run and bullets went flying. Some of those bullets came into homes, among them Marilyn Jones's house. Jones came outside to find one victim lying in the street. The other two victims ran to a mailman for help. They hunkered down in someone's house. Neighbors tell me that this daytime shooting makes them feel a little unsafe. And I heard gunshots, a whole lot of them, man. I called out to my son-in-law to see if he was all right, and he was, and so I told him to hit the floor. So we both laid on the floor, and we waited for like 10 minutes for the gun stop, shots to stop ringing. The grandkids, and there's plenty of kids living in this community. They need to get a grip on these killers and shooters and do something about it. Now, the three victims were shot in the hand, leg, and buttocks. At this time, it's unclear if the victims were intended targets or innocent people, but police tell us that they did not have guns on them. All three are expected to uh, survive, but right now, police are interviewing witnesses in this neighborhood, trying to piece together exactly what led up to this dangerous daytime shooting. On your side, live on the north side with breaking news, Jermont Terry, today's TMJ4.